Hello everybody, welcome to deck building. So I'm going to take the captive out. Uh, though I usually like late mana sinks, I really want to run as few green cards as possible. Those are the only two worth it. Uh, Courageous Outrider, Missionaries. I think I am going to take out the Borrowed Grace. If anything, I'm looking to bring in the Cultist Staff. One, because it helps with things like Lone Rider and the missionaries more. Uh, two, it can does not necessarily accomplish the same thing if you're going wide, but it can help to accomplish the same thing. Um, this is, though I often play Mantle, this is one I'm going to take out because I have enough flyers. Usually uh, with Mantle you're looking to give a ground creature flying so you can bust through, but with the equipment I can just give my flyers a uh, power and toughness boost. I am going to take out the Repel the Abomination, but consider it for side. I do have a lot of humans, but I also have a lot of spirits and a couple of griffins. I am going to keep Ironclad Slayer in case any of those get shot down, or my uh, Faith Unbroken. And it is a 3-2 for 3, which is fine. The other one I think I'm going to get rid of is the Extractor of Sin. <coughs> he was a speculative pick anyway. I don't think he's going to make my board. Um, so there is hope against hope. What else am I not that thrilled with? Hope against hope. That's about it. And I think it says I have 12 creatures, but the spectral reserves makes it 14. Uh, creature spells, so that is kind of misleading. What would I put in instead of the Hope Against Hope, though? It could just be the Mantle. I could put back in the Extractor, or I could do the Captive. Captive is a really good late mana sink, but double green. He taps himself, though, so... I am looking to attack, and I don't think he attacks very well. Hmm. I'm going to actually put in the Borrowed Grace uh, over the Hope Against Hope. Um, just because a bounce, the Hope for Hope, is a two for one, and the Borrowed Grace still have some utility. Let's see what's going to suggest for lands. Uh, so two, so that gives me three ways to have a forest, which is generally what I want for my splashes. Uh, there's only one thing that requires double white, though, so I am going to split it like that. The only thing that requires double right, white is collective effort. All right, so that is it for deck building. I will see you uh, around for round one.